So you guys probably heard the news about the explosion that went off in Beirut, Lebanon. A massive explosion has torn through the Lebanese capital, Beirut. 80 people are dead and more than 3,000 wounded. But those numbers are expected to rise right into the night. We just wanted to make a video to help raise funds for people that are there. The links to give money to are below already. So if you want to just stop watching and go give, you can do that. Why, why we want to give to Beirut, Lebanon is because it's a really special place to us. Yeah, uh, it's where Justin and I first met. It's also where we happened to get engaged a couple years later. For the least. Cohen. <laughs> I got you a ring. We also have several really good friends that are still living in the city. And yeah, I mean, we just really like Beirut a lot um, and have a lot of great memories there. So it was. It was sad for us to wake up to the news and we wanted to find a way to help. So that's why we're making this video. Two places specifically that we think about, there was the Olive Grove, which is a co-working space started by our friend Anna Medeiros. The Olive Grove was two kilometers away and the windows still were blown in. So a lot, so that's all over the city, all over the city, there's places like that. And the Olive Grove, we, we were... Yeah, I think we first visited the Olive Grove back in 2017 when we visited Beirut, um, Anna had just opened it up uh, as a co-working space. So, yeah, we used to go work there a lot and it's crazy to see the windows right by the tables that we used to see sit at just completely shattered. Another place that is really special to us uh, is Saifi Urban Gardens. Yeah, we just saw our friend Talal posted a, a bit of a story about it earlier today. That's where Justin and I actually first met. When our first day, had our first coffee together. Yeah, and I was watching Talal's story, seeing the entire, like, what do you call that? Restaurant area? The outside area. The outdoor, the entire outdoor seating um, and, like, rubble. We lived at Saifi for a month yeah. at one point. And we've, yeah, we, we those alley, there's alley, we saw a picture of the alley that we used to walk through all the time. It's just yeah. destroyed. So, anyways some of the most important stuff that people need right now is sh food and shelter uh, so we put links below where you can give money that's going to go to those kind of things but uh, yeah if you want to give directly to our friends that are living there um you just contact us and yeah. we'll send you their contact information and you can just give to them obviously people should do their own research when things like this happen but one thing to keep in mind uh, for lebanon i guess is to try to find places that aren't uh, funding money through the government so if you can find uh, organizations that are doing things as directly as possible, that's what we would recommend outside of the links that we've left Yeah. Um, below. Our hearts go out to everybody in Beirut, it can't, like it was, all, the lira had already, inflation was insane there already and I, I can't imagine how devastating this must be for an entire city to yeah. uh, not only have lost so much money after COVID-19 but now to have the whole city basically destroyed. Yeah, just like complete destruction. Yeah. So sad, or it was really, it was sad to wake up to that this morning and also just sad to keep thinking about the yeah. fact that it really happened and everybody's still there. Yeah, so anyways, we love you guys all there in Lebanon. We're, we're standing with you guys and uh, hope that more people come together to help you guys now in this time of need.